Iron Lung. Been meaning to play this for a while. It is a game by David Zymanski. I hope I'm saying that right. It is Dusk Dev. I know Joel has played this. I know others have played this. And uh, it has been played by many a big YouTuber. But I want to give it a shot and see what it's all about. Simansky, it's the squirrel stapler guy. Yeah, so let's let's see. Oh, uh, Germa. I didn't know Germa had played it. Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons. Lit by the ghost light of vanished stars, one such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly uh, in a makeshift submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside and the forward window will be closed. There was no time for training. If successful, you earn your freedom. Right? Beginning at descent. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out for sparks or flames or anything like that. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the whole ceiling it, but it's still holding strong. Blood ocean. James Cameron is going to adapt Close this into a movie. Fielding. After our Avatar 12. Arvatar. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so risk thing and be careful. You're on your own. Good. I think what that character meant to say was... Good luck. Two weeks ago, we conducted an exploration of Moon 85 for the first time since the Quiet Rapture, leading to the discovery of a fourth blood ocean. A trench beneath the ocean's surface has several points of interest. Your task is to photograph these points of interest with the SM-13's forward camera. Photos must be taken within two units of the specified position and 10 degrees of the specified angle. You can also use the camera to help with navigation. Only photos taken at the specified points of interest will be saved. Since you can't navigate by sight, pay attention to your coordinates and consult the map. The, approximate, the proximity indicators next to the sub-controls will trigger if you're getting close to an obstacle. Hey, I've played Final Fantasy VII. I know what's up. Once you're done, I'll show you the Blood Ocean trailer, okay? So... This is not an expedition, it is an execution. When they put you in here, they don't want you to return. And even if you do, and even if they keep their promises, what freedom awaits for you? A few dying ships in a sea of dead stars. If there is still hope, it lies beyond the veil. Hope in this void is as illusionary as the starlight. I will choose to breathe my last here at the bottom of an ocean, unseen, unheard, and uncontrolled. They will get their execution. I will get my freedom. So, X180, Y... 576 180 576 
How do you change Y only? Then you watch out for walls. Vinny, check your location on the map. I don't see my location on the map. It's 2D navigation, you don't go up or down. You have to find it. Oh, so 180... Vinny, check the bathroom. You're not at one of the markers. Look at the rulers on the sides. Oh, okay. So it's... 184, 31, and 105. So I'm, like, here. So my limit is about 250, uh, 225. So now it's going, why is it going Y? Oh, I see, because... Oh, oh. I'm at Y 160. Like here. Cool noise. I need to get to like... 200 and 200. Okay, so I'm there, and now we're going- we're gonna go this way. Let's see what photos turn up. Cool, nothing. So we want a 90 degree angle. Uh... Alright, so we're gonna get to... 200 by 300. I think I'll be hitting into that. It's gonna be close, but I think I should be okay. Yep. This game is more enjoyable by yourself. And yet, so many tubers have made videos of this. Tuberts. So this is at 322, 186. Y is 186. Two. Probably close enough, let's see. 
Maybe not. So... What does A? A33 mean? Can anyone clue me in onto that? Angle? Oh, oh, the angle to see what it is. Alright, so... So hang on, um, 322... There's 186. Now I have to figure out how to get the 322, so that's the x-axis. Try 90 degrees and then we can, you know, figure it out. I, I, once I kind of get the hang of this, it should go quicker. It's 322. Three twenty-two, one eighty-five. Good enough. And then thirty-three degree angle. I mean, of course it's angle. That's what this is. Wow, I'm smart. Is that it? You ha have one whole unit for margin of error. Sea penis? You can check the map if you've got it. Yep, got it. Alright, great. Just curious what happens when you move away from it a little bit. I mean, it's still there. But, uh, so we probably... This is a little fuzzy here, but... We're going to get to Y265-ish and 350. Should clear that. 350. This is actually 375, 263. 375, 263. 378. Where did I get the 5 from? Sorry, brain damage, I guess. <laughs> Um, hang on a second. I, I'm just trying to visualize this, and, and I'm... Permanent. Permanent. I mean, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, the angle. Not it, is it? Oh yeah, no, that's it. Let me just make sure the angle... Uh, oh, no, that was it. Underwater rib cage. I'm gonna play this one by ear, so to speak. fucking noise. So I'm at 333 by 300. So I'm like here. I've got a little bit more wiggle room. 
just do trig calculations for your angle and displacements, bro. Just vectors. You know I'm fucking terrible at math, right? Oxygen notification. Jesus. Two seventy one, three fifty one. How did a thing appear behind me? Oh, okay, now that was. Was that the wall? Well, I was, like, still. I was completely still, and then the thing started beeping again. 259 by 406. Fifty nine by four oh six, right? So we got the two fifty nine part. Now we got to figure out the four oh six. So that's the y axis. We want to do wanna back up. Should be about right. I think that, that's probably enough wiggle room. This looks fun. It's it's weirdly... I gotta say, there's something kind of intriguing about it. But I mean, no, it's not fun. It's just... <laughs> it's, it's a very unique game concept, though. Worms? Underwater slinkies? This is the part, like, these are gonna suck. These are gonna suck. So I want to get to, like, 425, or like, 435, over 340, right? 425 over 340. Just keep an eye out for the Alaskan bullworm. I don't know what that is, chat member. So, I want to be at, what was it, 4, 435 by, like, 340. What? 450. Oh. 450. 
Well, that's Y, so I, I got the wrong axis. Okay, sorry. 451 over 327. Oh, Jesus. 451 over 327. Something like here. At a certain point, I'm just going to have to, like, pilot with confidence. I need to get to... Let's start with X. So I need to get to, like, 3... 375 by 325. Three twenty five. Three twenty five. RLM just tweeted saying that Mike and Rich will be doing voices in High on Life. What is High on Life? Is that like a weed movie? No, because that- oh, then that would be High on Weed, not High on, on Life. It's a game? Rick and Morty game? Shit. I didn't see that. I didn't see that trailer. New Justin Roiland game where the weapons talk. Looked pretty bad, says a chat member. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I was asked to do a voice, I'd, I'd do it. Uh, why not? 560 by 277. Sorry, no, that's, uh, yeah, 560 by 277. It's just gas. Probably fine. The smelly smells gas. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Jesus. Angle 43. Take a, pe a picture to check on the thing following you next time. Was that a face? No, probably not. 613, 197. If I see that thing flash again, I'm gonna go run and grab a picture.
Angle 55, here we are. Okay, I went the long way around. Huh. Dragon. Some fucking underwater dinosaur. about the low quality imaging that makes it even scarier. Well, not scary, but just so, you know, cool. It's not scared. Shall we go for this one? Oh, I said that like a Brit. 750 and like 260. Should be good. I mean, this is really... I've never played a game like this before. I guess I've played many games in games that were kind of similar to this. I know this might not be the most exciting streaming, but I am... I am intrigued. I'm on board. So it was 750 by 260. From here, I don't want to go slightly angled that way. Like that much. It's a tight squeeze, but we got it. And we're gonna head up to... Like, 860 and 300. The game just saved. Just go south. And these coordinates are eight sixty four by two fifty eight. I wonder how this, like, I wonder if there really is just like a 3D world modeled underneath all this. There is? There actually is, huh? That's awesome. 64 by 258.
I wonder if there's Easter eggs. There, there is. There's a, like two of them. Okay. Uh, angle two nine. Kind of structure. I mean, technically, I already got the picture. I'm just wondering if I can get a better view of it. Uh, not too much of a better view, but a little bit. Yeah, so there's some kind of, like, castle down here. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. Um... Wouldn't... Probably about... Two... No, so, like... Mm, I want to back up to... 840 by like 300. if I've made it through yet. Let's see. No. Not yet. So when will the game start sending beef creatures at you? That's a really interesting way to put it, chat member. Beef creatures. Are you referring to the developer's other work? Something followed me out of here. Alien horrors is less than beef creatures. I like beef creatures as a way to describe alien horrors. I'm very okay. So we want to be 550 by 200. So we're at 550. Are we really at 550? Did we get there that fast? And we're at 340. Didn't you look at your controls? It moved you. You just got launched? The fuck? Oh, so we're at 347 by 550, which is actually very helpful. This could be communicated better. Many miss it. Thank you, help helpful beef creature. I think chat member might have just invented a new phrase. Thank you, chat member. Technically, we're like beef creatures. What was that game I played that was like Metroid? That had like the meat planet? Like you had to de defeat your own beef creatures? What was that game? A 
robot named Fight. How did I forget the name of that? So, we are now at 571. Probably a little too far, actually, so we're going to go back to that way. We gotta get up to Y five five twenty five. Whoa! I know. I mean, I wasn't facing it, but it, it seems like you have to be very quick. Twenty-five. So it's like five twenty six It's like trying to round up your gas to the exact amount. Which, as we know, these days it's about $400. Bones, it's me, Captain Kirk. Discovered a large sea creature, some kind of serpent. Jim, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? Tell Skok. But Bones, we're on the verge of a breakthrough. Skok. I like when Spock looks into the, the weird instrument where he has to put his face into the goggles that are attached to the panel, the side. Good night, chat member, whoever you are that's leaving. Yeah, no, they just hide lines in there so that Leonard Nimoy doesn't have to memorize scripts. Though I would say Nimoy was probably the best actor on that show. I mean, there were a lot of good ones, but... Nimoy was just... Next level. He did a lot with a little. I always remembered, like, a quote from Leonard Nimoy about Spock, which was, like, be minimal. That whole character, like is so... I mean, it's the the Vulcan race, but he helped invent that whole archetype. Because if you look at the pilot Spock, pilot Spock is, like, smiling. He's laughing. You know, he's just, like, a human with slight differences. But then by the time they filmed the show, Nimoy got it to the point where if Spock lifted an eyebrow, you were like, oh, fuck. Like, you could really get a lot from that one thing, and I really appreciate that kind of acting, because it's, it's like, reserved, but yet very impactful. He was great. 
Though, I would say, you know, Shatner is Shatner is Shatner. We know this, but the, he was pretty good. He had some really good performances. Maybe not as much on the show as he did in the movies, but man, when Shatner was on, he had he had some good moments, and, and people definitely overstate that thing he does. Like, I even joke about it. By 525. 375 by 525. We're at 520. Shit. Well, Cisco was... Uh, Avery Brooks was amazing. You know, like... I mean, he is amazing, but, like... On Star Trek? Yeah, that dude was incredible. There's a lot of great acting in, in the Star Trek. But have you ever seen Sequest? Vinny, can you fix the pipe? It's giving me anxiety. Nope. No, I don't believe I can. Your opinion on Shatner's singing career. <laughs> uh. Was that enough of an answer for you? At least he's having fun. And truthfully, there is something to it. Like him doing spoken word to music. There is, um, there's a market for that. He just did like a country album, and he's like 92. Hey Vinny, I just want to remind you that one of the symptoms of oxygen deprivation is hallucinations and paranoia. Good luck. Is that why I'm talking about William Shatner? Good timing, chat member, but I think that was real. That's pretty much it. So, um, 18 is the angle here. Honestly, when that chat member said that, I was like, they did that on purpose because there's a, like, I saw the fire, I was like, oh, that chat member just japed me because that was a purposeful hallucination that they spoiled for me. It's like, this thing re isn't really on fire, is it? Oh no, legs? Which Trek crew would you trust to run this sub? Data. Pretty much only data. Chat. This one first, or this one? I have a choice. Okay, we'll go here. I'm closer to it, so yes, that makes the most amount of sense. So we're gonna head down to 
like straight down to like 660. So full south. Are you able to interact with that valve wheel to fix the pipe? No. Data is heavy though, probably not ideal if anything hits the sub. But then he doesn't have to breathe. He can just, you know, exist on the floor of the ocean. Uh, no? gonna head to probably 200 But his calculations would be so precise and so quick, he would have done this 20 minutes ago. Did you hear about the Duke Nukem movies they just announced, made by the people who did Cobra Kai? Listen. Why? Like, great. I guess the Cobra Kai people knew how to do 80s nostalgia, right? Don't get me wrong, Duke Nukem was a staple of me growing up. Like, I played those games, they made me laugh. I just don't know how the character is going to do on his own in current year. Maybe a comedy? But... Like, I loved Duke Nukem 3D so much. But, um... Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. It could work. It just has to be... Someone really needs to figure it out. It's like, not even, like, do the character justice, because the character is stupid. The character is such a dumbass. I mean, he's a confident dumbass, but he's just like a balls man, you know? He's like the ACDC of video games. He's just, damn balls! Satan's coming for you! There's something behind me. That's that's a wall, isn't it? It's just a wall. I need to do some calculations here. So I'm at 181 and 620. Fuck. Things are shaking. Uh, this is 180 and 576. Anomaly, because it's different when I take pictures of it.
go in it? No, right? No. No, that's... no. No, 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 no. Okay, it... Okay. It moved me. Which is honestly good. I'm very happy that that happened. 277. So we are at 277 by 635. So we're like here. So it just saved me some time. Maybe it wants to be discovered. Alright, so we need to get to like... 475... And 685. 475, 685. Someone said maybe it's a niche micro celebrity looking for exposure. <gasps> oh my god, it's a Vinnie Vine Sirus! What was the number again I arrived at? Oh man, it was um like six. It's actually closer to 700. And I probably want to get to like... 450. So like 450 and... 6... Pretty much that, so we're like here-ish, so now we go... Let's see if this works. If my calculations are collect... <laughs> oh! Nope. No. 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 Four sixty by six eighty five. Where the fuck am I? Wait, 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 wait. Four sixty, four sixty, four sixty. Am I in the same area? It didn't it didn't yeet me, did it? Didn't yeet me. Probably want to get to about 550. See, so you scared it away. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. No, I can promise you I'm probably more afraid of it. Oh, good timing on that. Alright, we're at 550 and 700, just about, so... Now we can... Go that way... 45 degree-ish angle... 
Maybe a little bit less. And then we had to we probably want to be at 625 625-775 625-775 Blood has entered the sub degree angle for how long until we hit about 675 so that blood is rising isn't it the beef has arrived Cool fucking mission we're on. This is six seventy five at eight twenty. Was what is it? Eight twenty eight. This is enough. 295 is the angle. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you. Jesus. God is here. You know, for a second there, I was like, is there an invisible wall? Like, I noticed that my character stopped moving for half a second. I guess, how else do you end a game like this? The expedition ultimately raised more questions than answers. Satellite images showed pieces of the SM-13 scattered all over the bottom of the trench, as though it had been torn apart by some huge beast. The wreckage cannot be reached at this time. No photographs have been recovered. Stars shine pale as bones, the moon is as a lifeless corpse. It's ocean, a gaping wound, the universe, what's left of it is dying, but somewhere in the void there must be hope. Thus begins the game Outer Wilds. One hour build up for a JPEG jump scare, says a chat member. I kinda liked it. Like, it worked. The, it was more the mood, it was more the vibe of it, the atmosphere. It was fine. And it was a weird type of gameplay that I started getting into, a, like, a flow state for. In a world with so this is Death Clock Blood Ocean trailer. I've only watched a little bit of Metalocalypse, so let's... let's see. In a world with no laws, the planets are being pillaged by space vikings. Their life is secret to a sword to father's maker who knows the identity of a serial killer. I know who you are! And the oil rig with a haunted crypt of Mamming Dalla Fala found lies. What? And the love where it happened at. Space <laughs> Blood Ocean. Shh. 
Wow, it's exactly what we just played. You're right. Well, n n I don't know why there's a cowboy with a gun, but... Sure. Coming soon. Blood Ocean. I know who you are! Blood Ocean. Cowboys have guns, Vinny. Yes, that answers my question. That, that answers my question entirely. Thank you. All right. Well, that um, that game was very interesting, and I do, I do like that. There's a secret game apparently in the Iron Lung Goodies folder. Spin and shoot. Fuck. Oh. There's even, like, wallpapers. Comes with this. There's a wallpaper in the game. This. That's a kind of a cool one. I like that one. And it, there is a game called Spin and Shoot in the folder. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess I'm gonna play it. I had to install direct play. I know you want me to say the word, the funny word. Good thing I wasted my ammo for no reason. Someone just said nobody made this game. <laughs> this game is not real. This is a hallucination. We're still back in the sub. Oxygen is low. Hallucinations and paranoia are happening. This game was just birthed by an AI. The prompt was game. Great sound effects, by the way. And bet. Yeah, there's there you go. Now you're getting some use out of that emote. The Sen emote, which, by the way, we don't know what the name of that character is. It just looks like an alien to me. And the noise isn't. It's actually... So you can see there's a big difference. Oh, I can't find the emote I had in my folder. It's okay. All right. Well, um, also sp spin. Thanks, David. You know, and thank you, chat, for watching. That was Iron Lung. And it was certainly a thing. It was definitely a uh, a game. So I guess this ended up being an impromptu horror night because we're going to play Backrooms 1998 now.